How is it going, fellow gamers? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look into my extremely powerful Holy Bear Tanking Damage Hybrid, utilizing an underappreciated enchant in Preservation of Light. Let's get right into the madness. How is it going, everyone? I just want to start off the video by thanking each and every single one of you guys for 1,000 subscribers. The winner of the 100 DP Unleash Elemental Mastery War Chest is Mr. Bajoran666, a commenter on the last video and a brand new subscriber. I hope you enjoy the war chest, my friend. If this video can hit 175 likes in just three days, that is 72 hours, I will go ahead and hand out a 50 DP Unleash Elemental Elite War Chest or a Fell War Chest to a commenter on this video. Furthermore, I wanted to let everybody know I have bonus information on each and every single one of my builds as well as a place for you to ask me any of your questions on my builds over on my discord link in the description hope to see you there anyways let's get into the build we're gonna start off with the legendary for this build with that being preservation of light obviously purification by light makes it so that damaging abilities have a chance to exercise your target leaving an area of light causing holy damage at the target's location this area of light looks exactly like the regular consecration ability and speaking of consecration the aoe placed by dealing damage scales with your consecration ability as well as your exorcism what this means is that the damage done by your aoe effect is increased based on the rank of your consecration and exorcism abilities this means that you're going to want to draft both consecration and exorcism despite not being able to utilize them both in bare form the first epic enchant we utilized was faithful flex which makes it so that dealing physical damage increases your holy damage by two percent stacking up to five times meaning a total of a ten percent holy damage increase at five stacks second we utilized tainted swipe which makes it so that every 10 seconds your swipe becomes tainted infecting the target with a nature based damage over time effect for 10 seconds furthermore while we are in bear form this effect generates extra threats third for epics we utilized the naturally strong which makes it so that dealing physical damage increases the damage on our tainted swipe by two percent stacking up to five times for a total of a 10 percent increase naturally strong specifically increasing your nature damage based off of your physical damage attacks. If you are able to get bark skinned, one with the forest would be a way better enchant, being a good means of damage mitigation. What one with the forest does specifically is make it so that your criticals in bear form increase the duration of your bark skin for one second, with this effect not being able to occur more than once every one second. Furthermore, if you want to increase your single target damage specifically, razor sharp claws is a fantastic enchant for you. This enchant makes it so that maul refreshes the duration of your rake up on the target extending their bleed period anyhow let's get into the rare enchants i utilized for this build with the first enchant being feral instincts for the purpose of increasing the damage done by our swipe a total of 24 percent second we used anticipation times one to increase our dodge by a miraculous one whole percent pretty important considering that is our only way of mitigating damage third we utilized gilly of a loon for the purpose of making it so that criticals with shred mangle rake claw rip and ferocious bite have a chance to grant party members 2% agility this helping us with our dodge chance when procced fourth we utilized anger management times three for the purpose of ensuring we had the rage to reassert aggro though if you're able to roll enraged and have zero rage issues you're better off with holy guardian times one which makes it so that holy damage generates 30% more threat as well as thick hide times one which increases your armor contribution of cloth and leather gear while in bear form by three percent fifth you could go with either for Ferocity times two, which decreases the cost of your Maul Swipe, Claw, Rake, and Mangle abilities by one Rage, or you can go with Improved Mangle times two, which decreases the cooldown on your Mangle by half of a second. As for the talents with this build, those will be linked as a picture in the description, as a direct link to the builder on the Project Ascension website, as well as within my Discord, where bonus information such as level one rolls, what abilities to skill slash lucky card, and etc. will be located. Again, all found within the description. Now, let's get into the rotation and how the build operates so the rotation for this build is really uh it's pretty simple it's just charging in and spamming your swipe ability your swipe ability really procs pretty much just about everything plus it's an aoe ability that hits uh, oh shit this is in the way one sec let me get rid of this for you 
There we go. I was doing screenshots. Anyhow, what I'm trying to say is you're pretty much just spamming swipe, and that's how you get the most out of your abilities. Up until you're in a single target situation, that's when you're going to want to start to switch it up. As you can see by my ability bar, I don't have very many single uh, single target abilities whatsoever at all, actually. I kind of got fucked there. But it took me forever to get Consecration and Exorcism in this role, especially since I didn't have uh, Exorcism as a card, skill or lucky card, which is a pretty, pretty big pain in the fucking ass. Anyways, my point is pretty much just spam swipe. You're going to get your Faithful Flex procs. You're going to get your Naturally Strong wrong procs, you're gonna get your tainted swipe procs, you're gonna get everything going, you're gonna get your, uh, what's your feral instincts going. The build's extraordinarily simple, super easy to use, big damage, you hold super good aggro, you take very little damage, especially if you pick up the defensives that you need to pick up. Um, that's pretty much how the build operates, too, that's the rotation and the operation. I hope you boys, uh, hope you boys enjoy playing around with this simple as shit. Alright, let's get into the gameplay now. After about what I would say uh, was an eternity, we got a dungeon queue, which is absolutely epic, and we got a fun dungeon to run too. There's a lot of AOE in this dungeon, and all I have to really do is spam swipe, and that's really nice. Let me uh, let me just go ahead and top off the damage meters, my boys. That's that's how fucking insane this build is. It's so casual. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to quickly re-mention, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. That is absolutely surreal to me. I never thought I'd actually make it to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I'm sure that's how most people are, though. That's what most people are thinking when they start up their YouTube channel. I was just doing it for fun. This shit was, uh, and still is, I should say, a lot of fun. So thank you guys for helping enable my behavior by subscribing and liking the videos. That's, that's great. It makes me feel better about doing it. That's for sure. That's for sure. Definitely plan on making many, many more builds over here on the channel. I also want to upload some things over on Classic World of Warcraft, too. That'd be awesome. Wrath of the Lich King being my favorite expansion of all time. And listen, man, Classic has a much larger community of gamers as well, so I feel like the channel would really grow over there if I started making content on Classic World of Warcraft. But anyways, to get back on the topic at hand here, boys, there were a couple of enchants I tried out for a while that didn't end up working out at all, such as Growing Rage, which makes it so that your physical damage is increased based off the amount of nature damage you do. I was hoping that my Growing Rage would be procced by my Infected Wounds or my Tainted Swipe, but it didn't happen whatsoever at all, unfortunately, so that enchant was scrapped. Another enchant I tried out was Deadly Indoctrination, which actually makes it so that dealing holy damage increases your physical damage stacking up to five times pretty much the same kind of enchant as faithful flex but the only thing but the problem was that our exorcism procs did not proc our deadly indoctrination therefore making the enchant completely useless which is a very unfortunate occurrence so we had to stick with naturally strong on top of our tainted swipe which isn't really the most optimal but i mean it, it's working out quite well in all honesty i can't complain another fucking crazy fact about this build bro is that purification of light cost 389 gold on the auction house this cost a fortune bro i don't know who or why the fuck people are putting it up for so much but that's absolutely ridiculous and what else is ridiculous Ridiculous is I forgot about Timmy. Another thing I wanted to mention to you boys real quick was that I made a guild called Belly's Ballers for those of you who are interested in joining. Primarily what we're going to be doing as a guild is just community events based around the channel along with other channels who are doing stuff uh, with me essentially like gnome runs, naked gnome runs, community events for DP or prizes, etc, etc. Probably not going to be all too many raids in all honesty unless there's a whole bunch of people online in the guild one night and they all want to do a raid of some sort. That's just recently been released or something, I have no idea, but I'd be down to do something like that, honestly. Also, I wanted to know, is there anybody watching the video who can approve upon this build because if there is and you can prove it to me i will give you a dealer's draft deck all right i want to see it show me on my discord and that goes for anybody whoever shows me at first an improved version of this build if you can that is if you can that's the challenge that's the whole point of the challenge and if you can do it then you get a dealer's draft deck that's the prize congratulations what is that green hammer descending from hell on top of my head right now what the fuck is that Man, in all honesty though, this build is a lot of fun to mess around with. Nothing has really gone wrong with it whatsoever at all. I mean, a lot of people have been saying that holy damage isn't really doing all well when it comes to threat generation and maintaining threat. But with holy guardian, it really doesn't seem like there's all too many issues whatsoever at all. And I mean, that aggro issue was really the biggest issue I came across when it came to just doing any kind of holy based tank build whatsoever at all, really. I'm getting- somebody's arcane orbs are fucking hitting me right now. Is that like some kind of new heal, or I don't, I don't even know. Can you heal with arcane missiles now? Because that's a healing build that I've got to try. I want an arcane healer, dude. Give us an arcane healer, man. New build idea, by the way, boys. Arcane healer, don't steal it. If you steal it, you're getting copyright struck. Come on. Come on, Crusader. Come on, Grand Crusader. What do you got for me, cunt? By the way, earlier on I mentioned there were going to be some defensives you wanted to pick up. Those are going to be things such as Evasion, which increase your dodge, as well as Aspect of the Monkey, and things such as Divine Protection, which decrease the damage you take by 50% for 8 seconds. Most defensives work, really. Just remember you cannot block or parry in bear form. 
There's other things that you can pick up, obviously. There's only a certain amount of defensives that are able to be utilized while in feral form as it is anyhow, so make sure you, you pay attention to that. You want to make sure that you're picking up defensives that are usable while you're in feral form, not only while you are in human form. Alrighty, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here within the greatest cheese shop in all of Stormwind, Tria's Cheese. Hope that you enjoyed the look into my Holy Bear tanking build, and if you enjoyed the video, how to laugh or learn something new, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Absolutely no pressure, of course. I hope all of you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later. Peace out, boys.